Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sari and these are my knitting podcast videos. And today, like usually, I will be talking about what I have been knitting lately. Um, it's only been a week since I filmed my last episode, so there's not a lot of new things happening. I think in my previous video I showed quite a lot of uh, new things and a lot of progress on my earlier knits, but uh, today's episode is um, there's not going to be so much new things. But for example, I just made the sleeves for my pohjolati, so I will be showing a bit more about this one. And also my pohjola pullover is over there. But today, um, one of the topics that I will be talking about and starting with is how to style my knits. That's something that I often get questions about from you and it's also something that I struggled a lot. Um, I still do sometimes. Um, but I struggled a lot with um, how, to, how to style my hand knit sweaters and that's something that I'm going to be talking about today and showing you a couple of ways that I like to style my sweaters, cardigans, um, summer tops and so on. So today's episode is sponsored by Lily Silk and I got to collaborate them with them on this video and I got to choose a couple of pieces from their current range and I will be showing you them in this video and styling a couple of outfits around them. And one of the pieces that I chose is this 100% silk shirt. So it's a very classic colored shirt. It's, the fabric is absolutely beautiful and I can also already imagine a couple of outfits that I want to show you using this one, for example, wearing it with the book of cardigan that I have on me at the moment. And I also chose a couple of buttons. One of them is these classic wool pants in light grey. And they have slightly um, short uh, cuffs, so I think they are perfect for summer. And also this beautiful silk skirt, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the sheen and the drape, so I can already imagine me wearing this in the summer a lot. And here you can see beautiful fabric of it. So I will be using these pieces as well as some other pieces to show you how I like styling my knits. When I started to knit I was very drawn to color and I chose all kinds of crazy colors and I um, loved knitting with them, but when it came to actually wearing the pieces that I made, um, I struggled a lot. So for me, um, I'm always trying to find a balance in my knitting between wearability and pieces that are fun to knit. And for me, um, the pieces that are fun to knit also often use a lot of color and, and they have a lot of things going on. They're very engaging, so there might be a lot of uh, texture, a lot of lace, um, very complicated stuff, maybe a really fun color, but that's probably something that I won't be wearing. So finding the balance between things that I actually want to wear which would probably be something very plain, um, very minimalistic, but then again, that's not so fun to knit. So I get bored if I only need a lot of stockinette stitch. So I kind of want to find the balance between um, the pieces that are really engaging to knit versus the pieces that I actually want to wear. And this has been something that I've been trying to learn for quite many years and I think uh, as time goes on I get better with it but um, still sometimes I get crazy ideas of making a really like um, bright neon yellow summer tops like I needed the Kuta top last summer. Um, 
but I have noticed that um, I mostly like to wear very neutral things. So even if I wear something neutral, it doesn't really matter if it's very complicated and has a lot of texture, so it still looks very classic. For example, the Mila cardigan. So you can see that it has a lot of things going on, so a lot of cables. And it's very complicated, but still in this uh, very neutral color, it looks quite... Um, Classic, like I said, very timeless. So if you imagine this, for example, in a hot pink, which I think it would make a really gorgeous piece in hot pink, it would be a very statement piece. But then, I don't know if I would wear it that much. Maybe sometimes it would be fun to put something like that on, but for everyday wearing, um, I think a neutral color is something that I would be reaching for more. So that's why one of the reasons why I like making uh, my knits in, in neutral colors. So for example, also here's the Diana pullover. It also has a very complicated cable pattern going on, but since it's in a very light neutral color, it still looks very classic and it's very wearable. So that's one of the things that I have noticed for me. Of course, everybody has different preferences and I'm not saying that <laughs> my style is the only way to do it, but that's, that's something that I have noticed that works for me. I try to save the crazier colors for accessories, for example, my bright pink Robin Beanie, or maybe a um, crazy colored little scarf. So those are places where I play with color and it's easy to try on new colors if you just make a little accessory with it first. And if it's something that you really like and you feel great in it, then you know that you can use that same color for a larger piece later on. But that's how I usually start when I try to introduce um, a new color to my wardrobe. So talking about color, I actually I have um, my own rule of three colors. Um, so um, if I start to plan um, a new um, outfit, I have three sets of kind of like rules for me that I, I follow. So one is only one color. So that means that all the pieces that I wear and all the accessories are in one color and I call that the elegant look, so unicolor look. Then I have the classic look which means that I have two different colors and the third one is the trendy fun look and that means combining three different colors and I will show you how I usually do that. So I'll start with using just one color and I will make a couple of little outfits doing that and then start adding things to it so that you can see how the different uh, how it changes when I put on more colors. So I'll start with the unicolor outfit and I'll be starting with this beautiful silk skirt from a Lily Silk and making my outfit around this one. So this is my first look and you can see what I meant by choosing a unicolor uh, garments. So I have this off-white creamy colored cooter pullover that I'm pairing with the Lily Silk skirt. So immediately the, the pullover looks very elegant, very effortlessly chic and the um, skirt is absolutely beautiful. You can see how beautifully it drapes. It has a little slit here on the side, so it's very easy to move in it, even though it's a silk skirt. And this is a very easy way to, to upgrade your look. So just use only one color and it, it's immediately uh, very put together. So this is just like me wearing the skirt with this pullover and no other styling at all and I already think that this looks like a really nice well put together outfit that I would actually wear and this is 
I think the easiest trick to look like put together um, elegant chic so use only one color for everything and I think this is also a um, very easy look to upgrade from day wear to, to evening wear so if I was wearing this during the day one of the things that I would do is either put on sneakers or a pair of uh, combat boots like black combat boots for this one or white sneakers um, I would maybe add a trench coat to the mix um, or another thing if you want to upgrade it to an evening wear for like a, a casual party then I would go for some more dramatic uh, earrings for example these ones and would immediately make this a more of a party look and then maybe combine it with a little clutch and this is something that I could wear to the theater or for drinks and I will show you the same outfit but I will just change this sweater so changing to my Mila top this is something that I just recently finished and I just put this out for a test knitting yesterday so here's the Mila top with the same skirt so it looks very nice and this is something that I will definitely be wearing this summer so one of the things that I like is layering and adding French coat over this look again staying in the same color family so this is not off white but it's very light brown and also I'm grabbing a matching handbag so this is one way to style this and I will show you a couple of other ways to do the, the unicolor look so keeping first with with the white theme and then changing to other colors. So for this look, I kept the same Mila top, but I changed into these linen pants, and these are something that I wore a lot last summer. I think they are very effortless to wear and really nice in the summer, so they have a quite a loose fit, but they still look tailored and wearing a matching um, knit with a bottom again this looks very put together even though i'm not doing anything else except just wearing the knitted top and a pair of pants but if you want to take the styling a bit further i would add a something like this um, matching belt and I have always loved doing a little tuck, so this gives me a bit of waist. So this is something that I would do with this outfit, bring there something a little bit of extra. So for example, the belt and a matching color handbag. So this is definitely a summer outfit that I'm going to be using. And pairing this with sneakers or sandals, the same color family. So keeping everything together and just use the same bottom and change a different top and you'll see again how easy this style of style, uh, this well, way of styling is. So I changed into my collet pullover from last summer and this is something that I actually wore quite a lot last summer. This exact combination of sweater with with this linen pants and I'm still wearing the same belt underneath and again with a little half tuck that I like wearing so I think it gives me a bit of waist and also makes the outfit a bit more interesting so this is my collet pullover with linen pants. Here's one more 
totally white outfit so now I'm wearing white jeans and combining it with the same of white Kutak top that I showed you in the beginning so again same color same color and everything looks immediately very put together and then I will show you another option maybe not wearing just the white so I will be styling the grey lily silk pants with some grey knits to show you the same thing so this time I'm wearing these um, wool pants from lily silk and you can see how beautiful they are and they have slightly like a cigarette shape leg so slimmer leg which i think is really nice for summer and also they look very polished elegant and here you can see them on me really nice to wear and i'm combining them with my gray billy pullover so this is the billy mohair version so here you can see how they look like together and again a little half tuck and it already looks very put together and of course if i combine it with gray handbag then i already have a really nice outfit going on so it doesn't have to be totally white it can be another color as well so it can be totally black totally brown or totally gray and you can also play with some contrast so it doesn't have to be like totally light gray it can be also light gray pants combined with with darker gray so i think this would also look really nice together so this is the darker collet pullover that my sample in there made for me and i'll just change it on and you can see how it looks like so here you can see the pants styled with a slightly darker gray sweater so i think this is really nice put together look this is almost already um the two color look so you can either think of this as unicolor so both are gray or you can think of the, is it as a two color look so you have one dark color and one a light color but i will come to the two color look so i could actually start talking about that a bit so two color looks pick two colors make your outfit around that so first and easiest is probably um, black and white which is always a really fun and easy way to combine things so um, that's like a really what I call the classic look so you can have um, for example white pants and a black shirt or you have um, a white t-shirt black jeans and that's always a very easy and classic way to combine things for this one i might add a bit more contrast by adding a black belt let's add a black belt to this outfit to give it a bit more contrast and do that little half in half out tuck and if i have a black belt then i would probably not choose the gray back anymore i would rather go for a black handbag so this is an um, example of the two color look so i have a light um, pearl gray bottom and a darker top with some black accessories and this is definitely something that i will be wearing a lot really look like this look and let's change this to a bit more summery i will change the sweater to something else and you will see 
So here you have the same exact outfit with the lily silk pants, but I changed into my poet t-shirt and this pattern is coming in two weeks. So this is something that I just recently finished and you can see how it looks like with this outfit. Or if you don't want to do the tuck in, I think it looks really nice like this as well. So very classic look. So if you didn't tuck it in, then you don't have the black belt. And again, I think the grey back would look really nice with this totally grey outfit. So here I have now the collet pullover back on me, paired with the grey pants. But this already have different color family. So this is a bit more oatmeal, uh, beige, uh, kind of off-white. And these are clearly um, gray. So if I kept the black belt, this would already be three different colors. So I would probably take off this belt and then go back to this color family. So going back to the lighter belt and the light colored bag. So this is, I think, a really nice outfit. I would wear. And if I wanted to add a bit more color to the outfit, then here are two different colors. So I have my wood and a moon pullover, this beautiful electric blue in color, and the lily silk pants. So here's one option. So here's a two color outfit with a lily silk skirt. Let's do a little tuck in, half tuck in for the sweater and it looks like this and let's add the grey back and again a very easy outfit, very put together. So this is Another option for two colors, a white skirt with uh, a grey sweater. So here's my Mila pullover with the silk skirt. I think these two pair perfectly because the Mila pullover was knitted with yarn that has some silk in it. So it has a beautiful sheen to it and it matches this skirt beautifully. So I think these two pieces look really nice together. And of course, if you want to do the half tuck, just put part of the sweater underneath and then do a little fold and it gives a little shape and structure to the outfit. So this is something that I really like together. And I think I will be compare, uh, pairing these to together in the future a lot. So here's another option of two color outfits. So you know I mostly like to knit sweaters and one of the reasons why I like to knit sweaters is that uh, you don't have to think about what to wear underneath it. So now that I decided this year to make more cardigans I have to start thinking about how to style it differently so you have to start thinking about what to wear underneath. So I think a classic buttoned shirt is something that always uh, looks good. So this silk skirt from Lily Silk, it's absolutely gorgeous to have on and I don't want to take it off ever again. So it's so beautiful and feels so nice against my skin, really smooth. So I think this is something that will look really nice with knit. So first let's start with kind of, this is not totally uh, unicolor, almost unicolor because the Mila cardigan is so light, but this is like between um, unicolor and two color outfit. So this is something that I would wear and, and pair this colored skirt shirt with. And you can see how they look really nice together and this looks 
like a very well put together outfit. And if I want it, I could actually change the cardigan and take my new book club cardigan instead. So this is now finished. You already saw me wearing it at the beginning of the episode. So here's the book club cardigan and this is already definitely a two color outfit so the contrast between the cardigan and and the uh, shirt and, and the pants is already so much that I would call this a two color outfit and I could add some little accessories to this so for example a brown belt adding a brown back and this is already a really nice outfit so really silk silk shirt it's absolutely gorgeous so nice to have on me uh, one of the things for me is that uh, after i started knitting and i progressed into more um, natural fibers so i use um, a lot of um, merino different uh, types of wool during the winter and in the summer i like to knit with pure silk especially the knitting for olives pure silk as you have already noticed and silk mohair um summer yarns also linen and and cotton so i have started to appreciate also natural fibers for the other clothes that i wear so uh, this silk skirt is absolutely gorgeous to have on and definitely worth the price tag which is not that much i think for this quality piece because i know that this is something that i will be reaching for for years after this it's not something that never goes out of style and the material and the fabric is such a good quality that um I think this will be something like a stable as well as this my knitting so that's something that I always go for with my knitting as well so I like to think that um, the time and effort you put into knitting and especially if you use more expensive fibers and, and yarns then the, the uh, piece that you make has to be something that you're going to enjoy wearing and wear more often than just a couple of times so there's no point of us putting a lot of time and effort into making pieces that we only wear once or twice so that's why i like to create very uh, classic well-fitting garments that i know that i'm going to wear a lot and reach for year after year so this is the book of cardigan and it's currently being test knitted and this is Immediately uh, a favorite outfit I know that I will be wearing these clothes a lot I will be styling a few more outfits around this uh, Shirt and let's show them to you So I changed the pants to a bit more dressier pants so these ones and they are more in the same color family as the cardigan so the contrasting piece is now the silk shirt and could actually close the buttons for a second to show you this outfit take the colors out so this is let's open one more button also a really nice outfit combining these pieces together so here's now a two color outfit i'm not wearing anything knitted at the moment so i'm wearing uh, pants and the silk shirt and one way to add a bit of fun and color is adding a little scarf so this is my purple clit scarf over here so I think this is also a really fun way of styling a very classic piece like this but still keeping some me-made items 
with me over this outfit. So if I wanted to add a bit of color, so this is now a three color outfit, or keep it more neutral in the same color family. So this is my second colored scarf. It's a bit more green than the pants, but still the outfit, outfit is more toned down at the moment. Or if you want to go like totally crazy, then there's the hot pink little laulu scarf that we can add to the mix and immediately it's trendy fun outfit so this is the thing that i meant with the third color so especially if you choose a pop of color a bright statement piece it changes the whole outfit from very classic to something more personal and fun so here is one outfit that i'm really excited about for next summer so here's the lily silk skirt and my sierra top so i just finished making this i showed it to you in my previous video it was still on my needles so i just finished it and this is a really good example of a fun two color outfit so i used two different colors for for the top so it has like this mark effect and the bottom color is very similar to the skirt so i think these two look really fun and nice together and especially if you combine it with a brown back so this is immediately a really nice fun outfit for for the summer and it looks very well thought and put together and effortlessly chic, something that I often go for. So this is definitely something that I look forward to wearing in the summer. So if you want something a bit more low-key, then you can change the skirt to, for example, um, a jeans skirt or, or white jeans and it would still look really nice. So I'm back to this totally grey outfit. I wanted to show you one combination that I'm really into at the moment and it's combining uh, grey with this like tan colored brown. So it's a bit unexpected combination but I will show you how it looks like. I think it looks really really fun and nice. Start with the belt little tuck in so that you can see my belt and I have the same color trench coat and a bag so for example just let's put the trench coat away for a little bit so I have my bag over here and the gray outfit so this is something that i'm really into at the moment it's a slightly unexpected color combination it's something that i wouldn't probably think of combining at first but i think it looks really fresh and nice at the moment and if i add the trench coat to the mix so here's the complete look and here starting with the unicolor base so i have the same color pants same color sweater and then adding accessories and the coat in a second color so i think this looks super fun and i could still add my turtle dove scarf to the mix and giving with the gray colorway or I talked about adding the third color and the third color was the fun and trendy so if I take this one off and change it for my pink flower shawl you can immediately see how the whole outfit totally changes so here's a little pop of color 
bringing some uh, like vibrance and fun into this otherwise very classic toned outfit. So this is the third color. So that was a few different ways of styling my hand knit outfits. I hope you got some ideas from that. But the basic thing was to either choose a unicolor outfit where you wear only one color. It can be white, it can be gray, it can be brown, it can be black, it can be navy blue or something like that. Or go for a two color classic outfit. Um, the easiest is of course uh, black and white or navy and white or for example I showed my favorite combination at the moment the gray plus tan or it can be anything I think also gray and burgundy is a really nice combination I've seen uh, some of that happening um, in the fashion blogs and uh, Instagram accounts that I follow. So like, choosing like a really light gray and adding a pop of burgundy is also something that I really like at the moment. Or then go for a three color outfit and it can also be a classic three color outfit, for example, white, black and tan or um, white, tan and navy or something like that. White, um, navy and bright red is also a very classic, especially for summer, like a kind of like sailor marine type of combination. Or it can be something, for example, adding a pop of some really fun color to your otherwise neutral outfit. So just play with colors. Um, another thing is to accessorize, so use uh, belts, bags, I like hats, uh, it can be um, something like a feodora or or in the summer a cap or, or a knitted beanie or something like that. Little scarves are really easy way to, to accessorize and of course jewelry, so add earrings and I like bracelets and watches to accessorize um, but I usually like to keep my accessories in just one color so either gold or silver or or everything in, in tan or everything in black or uh, so on but um, that's just a few different ways to combine clothes I just left the lily silk shirt on me because it's so nice and of course the newly finished book club cardigan so I think there's you can't have too much of it and actually I also have the lily silk pants on me at the moment so a super nice outfit so if you want you can use my discount code for lily silk and I will link all the pieces that I wore in today's episode um, into the description as well as all the knits that I wore and links to those in the description section of this video and you can use my discount code sorry 20 for a 20% of your Lily Silk purchase so it's even more affordable so the pieces are a bit more expensive but I still think that with the quality and material they are very affordable uh, in the sense um, that they are so high quality pieces and something that will last for a long time and it's definitely something that um, if you purchase something like this it's going to be a wardrobe stable for years so in that sense it's very sustainable because you don't have to keep buying new things all the time I'm dreaming about the silk pants that they have so that's definitely something that I'm going to be adding into my own wardrobe still but um that's enough for of clothes for now I think you also want to see what I've been knitting lately so I already quickly showed this to you so this is the Pohjola tea and I just finished making the sleeves this morning so this is a t-shirt version of the Pohjola pullover and I still have the stitches for the body on this cable cord. So I will be continuing with the body from here on. So over here, it looks like this. So it's a very beautiful navy color 
for the sleeves and the body. It's a bit different than what I usually knit and make, so you can see over here. It has definitely more contrast than my original final pullover or the second one that I'm making over here. But I think it's really nice and like I told you in my previous episode I added a fourth color. So the original one had just three colors but for this one I used four colors. I'm using some Nesgarn Sunday in three different colors. So here's the color combination. So I have this light purple. It's the colorway 5012. I think it was called Perfect Purple. And then the putty color it was called Kit. And it's 1015. And I think this was called Milk Chocolate. Definitely looks like milk chocolate. It's a beautiful warm brown. The colorway is 3072. And the last one is the main color that I'm using. It's 5591. And I think it was called the Night Sky or Midnight Sky or something like that. It's very dark navy blue a beautiful color and next thing I'm going to do is just continue on the body I might be making a couple of decreases for the body so I don't want it to be quite as wide as the pullover so not as loose fitting but I'd like it to decrease a bit towards the hem so I might be adding some of those uh, like waist decreases for both size and I often like to do this so you can see over here that I just ran out of yarn so I had I should add, attach another skein so I often with these um, top down sweaters I like making the body until I run out of yarn until like after uh, separating the sleeves and after that I knit the neckband and the sleeves and then I continue with the body so I don't have to break the yarn because I would uh, have to um, attach another skein over here anyway. So I made the sleeves over here and then I will continue with the body. And here's my other Pohila pullover. So you can see it here. So this one and I told you in my previous video that I was going to the movies and we were going to see the new Dune movie. So, probably you can see over here, I steam blocked it before we went to the movies. So you can see a slight difference over here. So this is how far I steam blocked it and, and um, the unblocked part is the one that I needed in the movies. So, almost done with the body actually. Maybe five more centimeters and then the bottom ripping. And definitely can see how different it looks like with less contrast. And also like um, only three colors compared to this one. So this has a lot higher contrast and also the addition of the fourth color and it's almost like a totally different pattern you couldn't say that they are the same so for this one I'm using Sonder yarn um, it's their Sunday morning four ply and the colorway are offline our colorways are offline which is this uh, grayish color and then money ready for the purple and staycation for the beautiful beautiful um, olive color so this is one of my favorite all time favorite colors like this warm olive it's something that I think it looks really good on my skin tone so this is something that I always choose if I find the perfect tone of olive it's something that I always pick because it's it's um, my all time favorite and I know that it brings out the best of me. Another thing that I've been knitting is the cable pullover. So 
this working title was the Seattle Fog and I think I will keep the name. A couple of you commented that you like the name so we'll probably keep the Seattle Fog name for this sweater. So I'm kind of like at the same point with this one as I'm with the, with the Pohila tea that I'm running out of this skein. I should attach another skein so I might be knitting the sleeves next so I will leave the body on hold and work the sleeves next. So this has this bit of cable, so very easy, very simple cables and then it has this raspberry stitch here in the middle. So it's kind of like this popcorn bubble pattern but it's very easy to knit so no bubbles. It's knitted with um, knitting stitches to take together and then uh, making more stitches on the next round and then we have a bit of most stitch on the sides so a very classic basic pullover for this one I'm using Todd DK from The Lamb and Kid and this is a DK weight Yak Cashmere Blends super super soft the colorway is called Window Pane and I got this yarn on my trip to Seattle in uh, January, so I visited the Lamb and Kid shop on Bainbridge Island and that's where I got the yarn from, so it brings really fun memories back to me and that's one of the reasons why I was thinking about naming it the Seattle Fog because the yarn is from Seattle. And then we have the Sierra top. This I already showed to you in my styling section of this video. So I just finished knitting it and blocked it. And here you can see it has this, um, double folded. Okay, so I haven't woven in all yarn ends yet. I have to still do that, but um, it has this folded hem. So it keeps the bottom hem sturdy, it doesn't start to roll and it helps with stretching and I added eye cord edgings to the armholes as well as the neck and currently writing the pattern to this. So I just finished writing the pattern for the book club cardigan and I had to call for test knitters earlier this week for it as well as the Mila top so I was Back at the office for almost the first time in a couple of weeks after my horrible flu and got this into this uh, like really zen mode and then wrote two patterns or not wrote two patterns, finalized uh, writing two patterns. So I'm not that efficient that I would write two patterns in one day. I had started both of them but I just finished them and had the calls for test knitters and this knit has now begun with them. So next week I will be working on the pattern for the Sierra top. So this is knitted with two different colors of Knitting for Olives Pure Silk. So the colorways I used are Wheat, which is the lighter one, and then Dark Cognac, which is the brown one. And this was such a fun knit. I knitted it on 5mm needles. So it was really quick to make and quite straightforward and I really like to look and to fit so this is something that I want to wear this summer. Um, also thinking about different colors that I want to do. So I want to do a classic uh, black and white so using black and, and white for for mulling and, and then I saw that Knitting for Olive had a new kind of like a bright uh, yellow color it was something called lemon marine wine maybe something lemon something lemon sorbet something like that and it was super like um bright cold but still pastel yellow and i was thinking about combining that with white so i think that would look really nice for summer thinking about combining that with maybe the white lily silk skirt or um white linen pants. So I think that would be something like um, really fresh for the summer. But this is the Sierra top and like I said I will be writing 
a pattern for this one next week. So let's see if I can have the call for test meters already next week or latest week after that. Mm. That's actually everything I've had for today. I've been already talking for such a long time. Um, if you want to purchase your own Lily Silk clothes, so it was the really beautiful pants or this silk uh, shirt, or they have a beautiful selection of, of garments in really good quality and beautiful materials. Use my discount code uh, SARI20 for a 20% discount. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like my videos, remember to subscribe to my channel and you will always get a notification when I put out a new video. That's it for today. Bye!